What's up, Nerf Nation? I'm Naptown Nerf, and this is an unboxing and review of the new Busby Ultratech Air Warriors Cyclonic. So let's look at the package here, guys. Um, so this is a fully automatic rotating barrel. So it actually allows you to use it. It's, it, it's motorized. It uses batteries, but it actually comes with batteries. So this is really cool, and it has a Try Me feature. So when you're in the store, and you can check it out. And it, you pull the trigger, and it... You might not be able to tell it's lighting up, but it is lighting up, and it rotates that barrel. And that's kind of like the gimmick of the blaster. It just rotates this thing. It has nothing to do with the operation. This is a flywheel blaster. Um, this is just for show. But it is pretty cool, and it's neat that you can try it in the store, and they actually ship it with batteries. So that's pretty cool. Um, it comes with a 20-round magazine, 20 suction cup darts. So that's pretty neat. I'm going to take a look at the back here. Uh, it says it tells you where the batteries are lo uh, located, how to replace them, and then it shows you how to load the darts. All stuff I'll show you guys how to do. So nothing real exciting here on the back that I can tell. It uh, shows a couple of the other blasters in the line, and uh, it's uh, let's see what range claims it. I probably missed that on the front here. So yes, the blaster is supposed to shoot up to 72 feet. So we'll definitely take a look at that. Um, so let's just get into this blaster and uh, see what it has to has to offer us. Okay, guys, let's go uh, over some of the features of the Busby Cyclonic. So I'm going to go ahead and put the magazine in. It loads just like this, just like any magazine-fed blaster. And then uh, this would be your mag release, just to, so that's how you release the magazine there. So that's pretty, pretty easy and simple. It's got this, um, which I think some people are call, calling a Fiesta pattern. Um, I would probably call this more like a confetti. I think that's kind of what I think it looks like, kind of like a confetti. But it's lots of different shapes, like circles squigglies you know all kinds of different things um that's embossed here on the on the plastic so that's pretty cool i like busby um going away from just plain you know you know shiny flat plastic like they have on the top here and putting some design on their blaster integrating some things it's pretty cool actually um busby's coming a long way i think they they're doing uh doing a pretty good job i still would like to see them embossing their logos on but um, if you're going to paint a blaster, that just is one less thing you have to, to scrape off, I guess. So so that's cool. Um, I really do like the design of this blaster. It's pretty neat, pretty aggressive here in the front. And then, uh, obviously, like I said before, this barrel spins with a uh, half pull of the trigger. That revs the flywheels. And so you pull the trigger halfway to rev the flywheels, and, and this spins when that happens. So, um, And then when you do a full trigger pull, that's what fires the dart so unlike nerf blasters uh, which have a rev trigger this has a two-stage trigger so that's pretty neat um, one thing I noticed right off the bat is this is pretty front heavy and this handle is a little small and it's kind of hard for me to hold up it wants to fall forward like this and it, it's partially because this grip is pretty thin it's not like the length is pretty decent uh, maybe a little short but it's just a very thin grip and uh, so it's just a little bit difficult to hold up. But if you hold it with two hands, I think it's okay. Um, but to one hand wield this, it is a little bit front heavy, so, and the grip is just a, a tad bit small in my opinion. Um, but very comfortable, just a little small. Um, take, the, take a look at the other side of the blaster. You saw it a little bit earlier. It does still have the um, confetti pattern, as I like to call it, uh, with some other neat lines and dashes or whatever you want to call it it's pretty neat actually I, i'm really impressed uh, with the designing of the blaster um, and then it has some of the you know warning labels and whatnot like that so uh, yeah pretty neat there is not a stock on the back it's just i mean there is it, you can't shoulder this blaster that'd be pretty neat i think if you could sh if it had a stock but it doesn't so um it is what it is so uh Let's just go ahead and fire a few shots here, and uh, I'll kind of explain how the blaster works again. So, like I said, it's a two-stage trigger, so you pull halfway. That is revving the flywheels, and then you pull it again to fire. And 
It is a fully automatic blaster. So all you have to do is keep holding the trigger and it just keeps firing. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and uh, considering it's fully automatic, that looked like it was getting decent performance. So I can't wait to take this to the range and see what uh, kind of ranges we get uh, fully automatic and, uh, and semi. So uh, also it doesn't seem to be getting crazy rate of fire, which is good um, because it allows you to just single shot the blaster pretty easily. Like that's, that's very easy to single shot. So um, I do like that um, because it's nice to have full auto when you need it, but it's also nice to only shoot one dart when you want to. So, okay guys, let's uh, check out and see if this is compatible with actually uh, Nerf um, magazines. And it usually they usually are. So I uh, just wanted to test that out. And it seems to go in there and lock in just fine. Holds in there really nicely. Uh, and, and it's firing Nerf Elite darts uh, just fine. So. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, take this thing to the range. Okay, guys, so the end of the house where the gutter comes down there is about 65 feet from where I'm firing at today. Um, so we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, check out these ranges. I'm going to do um, 10, 10 level with the Busby darts and then 10 angled. And then I'll do uh, the same with the Nerf Elite darts in a actually a worker banana mag. So um, just to see if we get better performance out of the Nerf Elite darts or the Busby darts. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll start out with um, just try to do semi-auto and then I'll do a full mag dump uh, full auto uh, later. So here we go. Okay guys, let's go, uh, let's talk about the Busby Cyclonic. Ranges were very impressive for a fully automatic blaster. It was very easy, easy to single fire. I was getting probably 50 to 55, that average around there. Um, very consistent with the Busby darts between 50 and 55 feet. Um, and then angled, I was getting over 70 feet, uh, probably 70 to 80 feet angled, which is very impressive and uh, even even going over those uh, 72 foot range claims. So uh, very impressed by that. Um, and then when I went full auto, I didn't really lose that much range. And that's very impressive considering this is running off um, just normal stock alkaline for alkaline AA batteries. So uh, usually when you have a fully automatic blaster, uh, it loses quite a bit of range because the, the flywheels uh, bog down as the dart goes through and it just can't keep up. But I actually was getting um, probably 45 to almost 50 feet uh, fully automatic. So I was only losing maybe five foot uh, of range there. So uh, very impressed by that. One thing that um, I'm not sure is, is kind of a neutral for me is this uh, trigger. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to the uh, dual stage trigger. Um, it's a very long trigger pull, which in my opinion is a bit of a dislike, but also um, Considering how this blaster works, it probably needs it because of the dual stage trigger. It has to be a longer trigger pull to function properly and not jam. Um, considering this blaster does not have a jam door, um, they must be very confident that um, this thing won't jam. So um, I didn't try to purposely jam the blaster, but I did not incur any jams. Another another positive is this 20 round magazine that it comes with. This will work in your Nerf blasters. Nerf, uh, Nerf magazines will work in the Busby blasters. So that's awesome. Um, way to go, Busby. 
It is compatible with uh, Nerf Elite darts, although I did find uh, more inconsistency with the Nerf Elite darts. Overall, I think this blaster is pretty darn cool. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit bigger handle, but the handle's not bad if you hold the blaster up front also, which I think most people would. Um, it's not a huge blaster, but it's definitely not a small blaster. It's definitely a big enough blaster that you do want to hold it with two hands. One hand, you can one hand it, but it's a little bulky in my opinion for that. So, um, I really do think the uh, light up and uh, spinning feature of the, the turret is pretty cool. So I just wanted to show this blaster in some low light so you guys can see it light up. Pretty sweet. One other thing that I think is a little bit strange, I, I think it, you can get used to it, but I'm not a huge fan of the mag releases on the Busby blasters. It takes, I mean, I have a pretty long finger and I can barely reach that. So basically what you have to do is you have to push this as you pull out the magazine with the same hand, which is fine. But um, I know that when I'm playing, I usually use my, my uh, grip hand to drop the magazine and then pull, pull the magazine out with this. Uh, but uh, you, you can definitely get used to this. So I don't think it's a huge knock. It's just something you have to get used to along with the trigger pull. So I paid $20 for this at uh, Walmart. Um, so I do think that's a very good value for what this is. You get a 20 round magazine. You get a fully automatic blaster. Uh, you get a light up feature. You actually, it, they include batteries with it, even though they might not be the highest grade batteries. They do include batteries, so you can take this home and play with it right away. So that's pretty neat. But nevertheless, I think this is a definite buy if you uh, think this is a cool design and you like a fully automatic blaster. I would, I would recommend it. So uh, this has been my review of the Busby Cyclonic, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, guys, peace out.